Hello and welcome to a special neighborhood update segment of Somerville Neighborhood News. I am your host, Erica Jones of Somerville Media Center, and I am joined in the studio today with some wonderful guests and friends and neighbors um, who all represent different facets of Union Square Main Streets. Thank you all for joining us today. Um, the, to, the, to my left over here is Zach Baum of Bow Market, also um, Union Square Main Street's board chair. Congratulations. Thank you for me. Thank you. <laughs> and Joe Carrero um, to the far right of El Potro Mexican Bar and Grill, and also the um, representative of the promotional committee of Union Square Main Streets. That is correct. Thank you. And Jessica Eshleman in the middle of uh, Union Square Main Streets, the executive director. Thanks so much for having us, Erica. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we always enjoy having um, different folks from Union Square Main Streets come on in and give us some important updates of all the all the different things that are going on in our neighborhood and around us. And um, I think it's important because there's a lot of excitement that surrounds us um, with different kind of construction um, in our neighborhood. And we've been trying to do some weekly construction updates to help to continue to inform our community. So this is a nice um, you know, compliment to further those conversations around um, just what should people be looking out for? How can people be more involved in some of these outreach and different efforts? Um, and how can people continue to support um, our local businesses, right? Which is um, a huge um, part of the mission of Union Square Main Streets, which is, um, and you can obviously speak further to this, but um, it is to work collaboratively to actively support a vibrant neighborhood by preserving the character and advancing the economic strength of Union Square business district and community. That's that right. is pulled from your website. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all my words, um, and, I, and that is all in quotes. <laughs> um, it was and very we're, eloquent, though. Thank you, thank you. I mean, whoever wrote that, they deserve the credit, truly. <laughs> you know, there is only one addition that I'd offer right now. Please, yes. That within that economic development work, mm -hmm. it's really about preserving the character of the neighborhood. Yes. And I think it's so important that we talk Absolutely. about that as we discuss Absolutely. the work that we're doing on a regular basis. Yes, yes. And I think, I think across Somerville in general, that is definitely a goal for a lot of different groups involved, and specifically here in Union Square. Um, and you all are doing tremendous work on the ground. Um, and I think we're going to be having a great conversation today, um, an overview about just Union Square Main Streets for those who, who might not know about um, the organization and also the work that you're doing behind the scenes. And I think that sometimes we don't know the faces to some of those strategies. And this is a great opportunity for you all to, to pump that up. Um, but specifically, we're going to be touching upon three projects that Union Square Main Streets is behind. Um, one of being the Shop the Square Saturdays um, map project and also uh, hashtag Love Union Square campaign, which um, I, I love all of them. And specifically, the last one is super fun and playful. Um, um, but why don't we first, um, Jessica, if you don't mind, um, start off the conversation, just a little bit of you know, an overview of, of more of the mission and um, the work and the projects that are going on at Union Square Main Streets. Thanks, Erica. Yeah. Well, you nailed it. Uh, we really work on place-based economic development. So for us, that means making sure vibrancy is turned up, that businesses are connected, and that there's opportunity here within our neighborhood, particularly in light of all the development mm -hmm. and rapid transformation ahead of us right now. Right. I'd say members of the public tend to know us from our events, which are the farmer's market that mm -hmm. happens right outside your studios sure for does. 28 yeah. Saturdays. Uh -huh. And then um, the annual What the Fluff Festival, which happens uh, this year on September 21st. But you alluded to it in your intro. There's a lot more happening behind the scenes on a regular basis. Right. And an opportunity like this conversation allows us to tell that story. So thanks yeah. to oh, Media Center. We, we do it. We can as well. We, we try to provide as much information to our community. So thank you for, for being a great partner. Great, thanks. And we can continue to fluff each other up. <laughs> no that pun intended. <laughs> so the Main Street model, Union Square Main Streets, um, Somerville also has an East Somerville Main Streets program. Right. This is a national model that was started by the National Trust for Historic Preservation almost 40 years ago. Okay. And the idea is if you come about this type of work from a four-point approach, you're going to have lasting results 
for your efforts. And these four points, we won't drill into them, but just to share them, <clears throat> the first is uh, economic development, mm -hmm. which is our work of convening the businesses, talking with developers, working with the city on opportunities related to properties and business uh, openings and such. Mm -hmm. uh, organization, which is really building a sense of community around the neighborhood right. and communication channels. So if folks are getting our newsletters that come out every two weeks, that's a good example of us working in that project. They are experience. wonderfully engaging. We have to give some shout outs there to other staff members. <laughs> Thanks to our amazing program manager, Kate Stinchcomb, for her incredible work on the newsletter. And social media would be another category where right. our efforts are included there. Um, and then design, which is looking at the public realm. And then finally, the fourth a pro point is called promotion. Mm -hmm. And it's the idea of celebrating the district and uh, really highlighting all of the strengths that are here in fun marketing campaigns. Right. Um, and we're gonna talk about several of those today. We've been working with a very active promotion committee. Two members are here with me now, but I have to do a shout out to our fearless leader, the committee chair, uh, Debbie Muznikov from Play Union. Uh, and she's been leading us uh, for several months now on several of the projects you're going to hear about today. Awesome. Well, let's, let's first, Zach, do you want to kick off sort of who you are, how, how you're involved with Union Square Main Streets and on the committee and, and the projects that you're working on? Yeah, awesome. So, Zach, uh, one of the owners and founders of Bow Market, um, and also uh, newly the uh, chair of the Union Square Main Streets board. Uh, I've been involved with Union Square Main Streets for about three and a half years um, as we've been working on getting Bow Market uh, started. And so there was uh, an opening on the on the board chair position and decided to jump in and just spend all of my free time in Union <laughs> Square, which has been working out really well. I also live uh, in the square, sort of on the other side, uh, the far Probably the far west side of the square. Right. So I get to get to always be here. You're, you're here all the yeah. <laughs> exactly. And there's a cot downstairs for you here as well. Sometimes when you yeah, just need totally. another place. Yeah, totally. Yeah, just, just a, <laughs> for a very late um, interview. Uh, so uh, I'm really excited to talk about the uh, Love Union Square uh, hashtag and flyer campaign that's been going on since uh, December of 2018. Awesome. Um, so this campaign was started. Um, with the goal of, of just raising awareness uh, for all the different things that you can do in Union Square. So uh, the basic mechanics of the program are every three or four months we come up with five or six uh, different uh, sayings that mm -hmm. go on to a beautiful poster like these. Um, we then print them out and then have uh, our volunteer base um, get out uh, amongst the uh, both the sort of the central business district, but also sort of the neighborhoods mm -hmm. around Union Square. Um, they're nestled. They're nestled. Oh, it's yeah, kind of like a scavenger hunt. There. It's fun. For sure, yeah. <laughs> and so um, we've uh, we've gone through, you know, not only, I think we're up to probably around 20 different sayings at this point, That's which is awesome. pretty exciting. Started out, you know, really focusing on holiday shopping, mm -hmm. went into other ways to, to enjoy the square during the winter, ways to enjoy it during the spring and summer, and, and really hitting on some of the really awesome specific businesses mm -hmm. we have. Uh, as well as just general ways to enjoy yourself. So I think, yeah. um, you know, those are, we've got three examples here. So find a festival, really highlighting all the different um, festivities that happen. We had Ignite just this past weekend. We've got Fluff coming up, some amazing other uh, festivals hosted by Main Streets, as well as the Arts right. Council, which were really exciting. Um, my favorite summer saying, which is stay cool, <laughs> uh, gotta beat the heat somehow, That's and true. then uh, score a slice. So we have a number of amazing pizza uh, businesses uh, based around the square and really excited about working with all of them and highlighting all of them. And, and our goal is to highlight all the different businesses in the square in one way or another um, on a rotating basis. Yeah. How did this come, how did this like concept come out of a conversation during yeah. a board meeting, just kind of like a strategizing it, session? It I'm always really, curious about that. Um, part of the promotions committee, you know, we were thinking of ways to support the businesses, to advertise the businesses, and one of the things that we noticed um, amongst the committee was there's a real language of poster, of flyering in Union Square. It's mm -hmm. a really common thing uh, for folks to get their information out about, uh, you know, upcoming concerts or art events or, you know, uh, garage sales, different things happening in the square. It's something that um, I think is, is some, somewhat unique to Union Square compared to other areas in, in Somerville. So we were excited to um, play in that space, to play with the, the idea of um, posters being familiar to the folks here. Right. It would be a really good way of, of getting the message out. It's something that folks look at. And we thought we could sort of play into that by 
having these, these awesome bright colors that we also rotate mm -hmm. through, which keeps it sort of fresh. And we're not really focused on highlighting how Union Square Main Street is doing this. It's just a way to inform the public yeah. about all the different general things. General visibility. Are, exactly, general visibility. Yeah. And then we came up with this sort of um, uh, format which we stick to. So everything is, you know, saying, saying, saying in Union Square from a local business that loves you. And again, right. it's, it's really highlighting that. how, yeah, it's awesome. It's, it's so good. Fun. Right. I think the other, one of the other main goals was, um, you know, highlighting the connection between the businesses and the residents here and really making sure that the residences are, uh, you know, knowing that we, the businesses, are speaking directly to them and, and right. looking for the support. You know, this isn't specifically about all the construction and the construction and challenges that come along with that, um, but uh, it sure does help. Sure. Um, yeah. and, and it is something that we want to, you know, make sure folks are are thinking about us, that we're a part of their every day, that they can enjoy us. You know, not just for some of the things that they may know us for, like the farmers market or you know individual restaurants that they right. love, but there's also you, know, you can get your taxes done in Union yeah. Square, you can get your dry cleaning done in Union right. Square, um, all the sorts of different things that that are available to the public here is, is one of the things that we are really hoping to get across. Um, we have gone through some, some challenges that have been really fun to, to work through. So one of the things we learned was that uh, unless you get mayoral approval, you are not allowed to uh, flyer on, um, on public, okay. public property. <laughs> so some call that guerrilla marketing. For sure. So we, we <laughs> so that's went... why you don't have your logo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, I'd love to just respond <laughs> yeah, to that yeah. because this committee right here did a lot of deep thinking about should the USMS logo be there. Mm. And we looked at it from a lot of different angles and ultimately decided that it would be a distracting element. I mean, you just hit on how clean and clear mm -hmm. the messages mm -hmm. are. And that when we looked around the table, it was Zach from Bow Market. It was Ryan from Loyal Supply Company. Brian from Event Them. Some of our members that aren't here. Bill from Performers Magazine. Debbie from Play Union. Joe from El Pocho. They were helping craft these messages. And so the proper sign-off is really the business communities sure. themselves. And also businesses have been weighing in um, during our monthly meetings that we convene Union Square Main yeah. Streets about which messages should come up. That's good. So you're so you're starting to take sort of like the 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 collaborative like input right, right. in terms of what people collaboration want. is the right word. We we always felt that Union Square is really a neighborhood. It's right. not just a collection of businesses. I think right. that's what makes us unique as a square in Somerville. Um, right. There's a lot of other squares that are really just about the businesses. For us, we felt like the residential element was really important, and we wanted it to be a collaboration. And we didn't want it to be a message from the business association. We wanted it to right. be a message that we're coming together as a community to support this awesome place. We just express our appreciation yeah. to Mayor Curtitoni yes. for providing his <laughs> mayoral approval. Yeah, that's true. The, the, oh, the yes. good so, news is we actually did get mayoral approval, uh, and so these are legal <laughs> flyers. Oh, I love it. Around. I love it. So you went from being guerrilla marketing campaign, whoops, <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to, oh no, how are we going to handle this, to, okay, Mayor Joe. <laughs> yep, this is a particularly, let's just uh, call it what it is, challenging time to move around the sure. square, sure. and our businesses depend on on access through sidewalks, which are still accessible but have fencing in front of them. So it seemed um, as though we were perhaps in a moment in time where getting that approval made a lot of sense all the way around. Right. Um, so, Joe, if you want to just, you know, who you are, um, how you are involved in Union Square Main Streets, and then I know you have a good project to talk about here, the Shop the Square Saturdays. Sure. Well, yeah. my name is Joe Carrero. I'm the business manager for El Portro Mexican Grill. And although we have multiple locations, our Union Square location is our first one. Ooh, nice. Mm -hmm. My personal favorite because I grew up in Somerville. And, uh, <laughs> and how long ago was that when it first? It opened in 2006. Okay. Um, and... You know, it's been going strong since then. So yeah, I mean, awesome. It's great. Um, so for me, uh, when I had an opportunity to start to work for the organization, it was kind of an awesome, you know, circle for me because I was able to kind of give back to a community that I love. I grew up in the neighborhoods uh, of Union Square and, and you know, in, in the surrounding areas. So I was really enthusiastic about getting involved in what the community was doing mm -hmm. and I was very frustrated when we first opened because I felt like there wasn't that connection between all of us as mm. business. So when Union Square Main Street started to really kind of come, come together as an organization, yeah. I felt like I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't get more involved. And so I started to become more and more involved and kind of really push, you know, myself into, you know, volunteering the time to make the square as awesome as, yeah. it, as it is. And the uniqueness really comes in the fact that, like, that, you know, what Zach was saying is that we're not just a bunch of restaurants or stores. There's 
it's a community. You know, there are, you know, as you walk up and down, you know, the, the different side streets and, and such that you see things like the tailors and right. the jewelers, or you can, you know, go visit your local insurance company or, you know, get your taxes done, or there's just so much to do here yeah. and so much to say that it's, it's really a, uh, Best said by one of my my friends that uh, who own the neighborhood. Last year mm -hmm. we were working on the holiday stroll, and we were in a meeting one day, and she was talking about the fact that she didn't even visit a lot of the different places that we were highlighting on the stroll, and she was looking forward to the stroll. And I think that's a common thread throughout um, a lot of folks' kind of recognition of the squares. They don't realize how much awesome stuff that we have here. Right. And so one of the projects that um, Jess and Kate spearheaded this year was finding a way to kind of bring together the brick and mortar businesses of the square together with what is what I would probably call the touchstone thing that we mm. do as a square, which is the Union Square Farmers Market. So right. we put together a program this year where it's, you know, shop summerville um, on Saturdays. And the whole goal of the program is, is we have between two and 3,000 people come to the farmer's market, you know, generally. And it's an opportunity for them to connect with all of the businesses, not just come. Right get your farm goods and fresh food and, you know, leave for the day, but to kind of stay around and do things. So whether it's go visit Bow Market where mm -hmm. there's lots of awesome things to do or to come have lunch, you know, with us or at the Independent or, you know, just get a haircut. Right. One of the many different places right. that we've got a haircut. But stay here and have fun because, you know, although, you know, the market's pretty awesome in and of itself, it's, you know, not just the only thing to do in Union Square. And what we really want to do is to highlight that. So to create that connection um, through the work of some very gifted minds and some gifted <laughs> artists, we came up with a little promotional idea where we have these stickers that uh, Union Square Main Streets is giving out uh, at the market every day, uh, that the market is you know open from July through November. Mm -hmm. And we're encouraging folks to kind of put the stickers on and walk around the square cool. because there's many businesses uh, that are giving out discounts or incentives mm -hmm. uh, for those folks who come in and visit with the... Our I know we're giving a discount for people who sign up for membership that day. I believe it's 10%. It's 10%. If you were to sign up on Saturdays, <laughs> if you were to shop so the get square. Get involved on Saturday with Summer Media Center, right. you get 10% off. Some of the more <laughs> amusing moments that we had in our promotions committee is over this great logo and trying That's to. That's great. <laughs> oh, it's so hard, iterations right? Iterations of the carrot and. It's funny when you get caught up on the, <laughs> but those are important very things. Important. Those are very important. So what we do is we encourage folks to look for the logo in the windows of all the participating businesses, as well as um, look for you know, the chalk uh, hashtag Love Union Square outside awesome. of each business, and we're all incorporating that in different ways. And hopefully, this is going to you know pick up some sort of momentum. So eventually, we'll one day we'll have really cool things like placemats or flags or you know an airplane flying overhead. <laughs> start small, start small, exactly. yeah. and then you oh. see where you grow. That's my problem. Is, is I want to start big. <laughs> <laughs> they all have to kind of keep me, you know. You know that's that's fine. Each, you know, Everyone balances absolutely. each other. It's but perfect. It's, it's an opportunity, really, you know, to extend an idea that we had um, with the holiday stroll of getting folks to kind of know all the different businesses. So. Uh, and understand the concept that we're really not a square. We're really, you know, a community. So you can walk from the independent all the way down to Aeronaut Brewery and come right back here to yeah. some media center and, you know. Make a show real quick. Exactly. It's, it's really <laughs> neat. You know, uh, and it's a great way to kind of bring people the familiarity that we want them to have with the square. No, it's great. It's great marketing. And it's great um, advocacy, I think, is a good way of looking at it. So those are two awesome projects, and I love it. And Jessica, if you want to speak to the MAP project. Yes, I am excited. Close on out with some, with some awesome uh, information around that. Will do. Can I add one more detail about yes, our stickers? Please. Yes. Um, it is valid all Saturday long. All Saturday. So, well, the market happens from 9 to 1. You could go to Aeronaut at 11 p.m., so long as you're still proudly displaying your sticker mm. and receive your discount through the day. Good to know. So all 28 weeks uh, for, Love the, it. Well, for the remainder of this season. If it goes well, we'll bring it's it gonna back. It's going to be out all year. day on Saturdays. Oh. No well, idea. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a great idea. So the MAP project we've had in the works um, 
I'd say for over a year now, we yeah. started, this project actually was born out of problem solving. So Union Square Main Streets is currently serving about 200 businesses in Union Square. And there's long time been a appetite to create a map showing where the businesses are. Mm. If you logistically put 200 destinations on a map, the font, when you list them all, starts to become like 0.3 or 4. It's right. not readable, and it really isn't a usable piece. So we gathered the business community together and said, what are other ways that we could come at this? Mm -hmm. And we came up with a very creative approach to look at maps in terms of a, an itinerary or a theme, mm. and then to be producing maps in a series and releasing these series periodically to entice people to come out and spend time in the square, to linger, to connect right. shops around a theme. Um, so we did a pilot last year, which was called How to Plan a Dinner Party in Union Square. Mm. And I'd So that those themes we have sort of many in the wings. The next one we'll be producing is Lunch Hour in Union Square. We've talked a lot about a day in the square with the kids. Um, really appealing to different audiences, both people who are living in Union Square as well as folks who would come in and visit. Right. So once we piloted this program, folks were responding really favorable to the map and, you know, where can I get one and can mm -hmm. I include this in my materials? Um, so we were able to bring that to funders for real funding. Great. And we're really excited uh, to share our appreciation with the Arts Council. Um, we won a grant through the LCC grant line, which is the Local Cultural Council grant line. Um, our proposal was talking about building cultural infrastructure throughout Union Square, and we were summarizing this project, um, which included hiring a local artist to hand draw storefronts Fantastic. throughout Union Square. So for us, we are uh, collecting the font of Union Square. Mm. So with these hand-drawn storefronts, we will plug these in as icons on the maps that we're talking about around these themes, cool. and folks can go out and explore. So I have three here to show you. Mm -hmm. um, we're working with artist Ben Jundanian, um, and this is his drawing Ooh. of Gracie's ice cream. How so great. This will be much larger, of course, than what would be featured on the map. Right. Um, wow. We were so, just, I love the dot work, too. Just talking about Sheila and our friends over at the neighborhood. Yeah. But, oh, so you can see he's really great. capturing sort of the creative um, energy around the business as well as the specifics of the architect, or I can see that at least. Mm -hmm. And one last one is Sally O'Brien's. Ooh, nice. So we have 100 of these in the works. That's so amazing. And then once we have this font of Union Square, we'll be able to create different versions That's of really the map. That's really impressive. That's awesome. And, and these could be great to get framed, right? There's a hole. There's a, I see. I see you. <laughs> I see your trajectory. It's all you're. You're all strategic. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the general gist of it. And keep an eye out for those maps to be coming out. We hope that they're going to hit the streets, so to speak, uh, this fall. Great. And then they'll come out um, periodically or in editions, so to speak, after that. Cool. That'd be a great calendar. I'm just like. Ooh, <laughs> I love it. Yes, yes. yes. Um, thank you all for sharing that. And Jessica, if you want to just, you know, are there any opportunities for people to volunteer and to get involved in Union Square Main Streets or just other ways that people can help support your efforts? Absolutely. I'd say number one is um, if you're not yet plugged into our communications channels, because um, as I believe you were saying earlier, it's a great way of just getting a sense of all the things happening in the square yes. and particularly with our wonderful local businesses. So uh, we have a twice monthly newsletter that goes out. You can go right to unionsquaremain.org and we have a subscribe button right across the top. Awesome. Check us out on social media. Follow us. Hashtag love Union Square mm -hmm. is the one that's getting a lot of traction right now, so we encourage everybody to consider that. Love it. Uh, Joe, you want to talk about uh, the street team opportunities? Uh, well, we have a street team that's uh, run by our friend Brian on the promotions committee, and he is always looking for volunteers to kind of get us involved in different projects mm -hmm. that we have. So, you know, around Union Square, you know, holiday stroll time, we need folks to kind of get out and, you know, get the word out. Place, you know, the, all the different initiatives that we have, even mm -hmm. on the day of the stroll. Um, these flyers don't get up by themselves, even though they <laughs> wish that they would. Um, so we always love volunteers that come out and uh, put in the sweat equity to make sure that we get all these awesome colors and fonts all around the square. Wonderful. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. Cool. Anything else? 
Shop the square on Saturdays. Shop the square on Saturdays. Shop the square every Shop day. Shop the square every day. <laughs> you know, just be as much as possible involved in the square all the Never time. Never leave the square. And this. support local in general, right? And loyal to local. All the hashtags are going to be on the screen <laughs> right now. Um, I appreciate, do you want, is there? I just wanted to say that that's something that we would celebrate all the time, but we're going to underscore, truth be told, the construction. I know. It's hot and heavy. We've been under it for a good long stretch. Somerville Media Centers. I know. In the thick of it right now. We're, we're, we're immune to it at this point. It's like we're just working with it. We're yeah. working alongside it, and we're figuring out the best way. I think everyone's trying to figure out the best way to coexist. And so that's, yeah. that's my final call is if yeah. you're watching this from home, you're most likely not more than, I don't know, a half an hour to an hour stroll down to the square. So you don't even need to bring a car. You could just cycle here or you could maybe scooter here and come on out and join us. We're having a good time, construction and all. Love it. Zach, Jessica, Joe, thank you all for coming on and sharing more about your wonderful uh, volunteer work that you're doing. And Jessica, your due diligence and hard work to spearhead all these different efforts. So, so thank you all. And um, on that note, thank you for tuning in to this uh, special community update with our friends here from Union Square Main Streets.